Welcome back, and it should come as no surprise that when it comes to college skiing, the state of Colorado dominates. No school has won more team titles than DU, and CU has the most individual championships with 95. Well, one buff skier has her sights set on adding to that total. She's out to prove that not only does she have the name, but she also has the game. Michaela. No, not Michaela Schifrin. CU skier, Michaela Tommy. How often do you hear the comparisons to Michaela Schifrin just because you're a skier, you're a good skier, and you guys share the same person? I think, like, maybe when I was younger, like, for like a little bit, but there's a lot of Michaela's in skiing, so it's kind of funny. Like, I don't, I almost don't even feel like she's in my category, so it's like kind of funny. Well, it's unfair to compare anyone to Schifrin owner of 66 World Cup wins, Michaela Tommy is doing her best to make a name for herself. She made an immediate impression on her teammates and coaches when she became the first CU women's alpine skier to win her first three career races. Do you remember what you were thinking after she won her third career race? Well, praise the Lord. We have, <laughs> we have some Someone to do the job, that's great, always. Her winning ways have continued this season with three more giant slalom wins, leaving her one shy of setting the school record. It's addictive, it's like, there's definitely more pressure almost every time, or it's also like your expectation raises. So it's kind of easier and harder at the same time because you have more expectations if you all of a sudden aren't on the podium and then also, you kind of like are comfortable being there and you know you can. Her coach expected big things out of Tommy when she arrived in Boulder. She came from the Canadian national team where she made her World Cup debut as a wide-eyed, innocent 17-year-old. I'm pretty stoked and really excited for tomorrow. Tommy spent six years racing the World Cup circuit, ascending to 29th in the rankings. But something was missing. She felt she needed more than just skiing. I like staying busy and uh, keeping my mind open to new things. It's, it's the best part about school for me is that I can learn new things every day and like kind of just like keep my curiosity going. And when I'm skiing, that just feels like my therapy for you know sitting around in class all day. Call it therapy at 35 miles per hour. It's hard not to be impressed watching the two-time first-team All-American blend speed with precision as she soars down the slope. And I definitely love the thrill of it. Um, skiing is just like kind of like my meditation, like the feeling and the flow of it. It's just like I can't feel that anywhere else on this earth, so I really love doing it. It is truly amazing to be up on the mountain with Michaela and see how fast she really does go. Now, her immediate goals are geared towards the NCAA championships in March. After that, she'll continue competing on the World Cup circuit with the intent of following in her father's footsteps and one day maybe competing in the Olympics. We're